Hello guys, Jared Griffiths here and I'm going to review one of my favourite comedy TV series of all time and that is Black Adder. Yes. So yes, this show is created by uh, Rowan Atkinson and uh, Richard Curtis, uh, and it stars Rowan Atkinson, uh, Tony Robinson, Tim McInerney, uh, Stephen Fry, and uh, Hugh Laurie. And uh, basically, uh, I'd like to talk about something. Um, you, you might think of you think of Rowan Atkinson as being like kind of a more family friendly uh, comedian, you know, doing stuff like Mr. Bean, Johnny English, and like The Lion King and the Scooby Doo movie and uh, the Witches. Even though that's one terrifying kids movie, it's still you know family friendly movie. Uh, and you might see like this, like here it says it's a fifteen, and nowadays you think of fifteens as being quite strong but um it's really not that rude um uh i think yeah i looked on the bbfc's website and most of the episodes are actually um only 12s and the ones that are 15 like it's only really cuz there was no 12 uh, certificate on a home home video at the time when they were rated so yeah i say that yeah they yeah, I think the BBFC should, you know, re-rate this and it should it should be a twelve. They're they're really not that um vulgar or anything. Um But yeah, I just thought I might like to address this. Yeah. So it is pretty alright to show the kids and stuff. So uh basically this show is about um the different generations of uh the Black Adders and the Baldricks. The Black Adders are um, Rowan Atkinson and you see like here and uh, Baldrick is uh, Tony Robinson and uh, basically each series of this was set in a, a different time period Bas there were three series and then um, there were a few um, yeah, yeah, um, uh, special episodes which were um, made um, you know, that weren't part of the main series so basically like the end of every series the characters all die and then the start of the new series is um, you know the descendants of the characters so uh, the first series um, is set in the middle ages if, if you see that's the first Black Adder then that was set in um, Elizabethan era and this was set in the Georgian era and this was set in uh, World War One and they did uh, specials like um, the Caviar Years, which was set in the uh, the uh, uh, British Civil War, I think it was. Um, there was uh, the um, Blackadder's Christmas Carol, which was set in the Victorian era and was a parody of A Christmas Carol. And uh, there was um, Blackadder Back and Forth, which was... Um, basically like uh, set in 1999 which was the year it was made and basically going back in time to uh, different uh, time periods and basically seeing the characters in uh, their you know different time periods and uh, basically the first series of this um, wasn't that great um, I mean the characters were completely different you know Blackadder was the stupid one and Baldrick was the clever one but then um, by series two, uh, the the show was just brilliant. I mean, my favourite series of this would have to be the uh, World War Two um, series, where it's basically like I think because most of it is set in like the trenches, and you know I like that it's like set in like one place really. But I think probably the most iconic looking one is the. Uh, second series that's probably the one um, most people remember um
and basically Blackadder is apart from the first series where he's completely different I'd recommend starting with the second series um, he's basically this extremely miserable man who basically always like he's very rude and he always has these really um, creative insults which are just so funny and uh, um, Baldrick his uh, servant is basically this idiot and um, basically he kind of reminds me of uh, Stan Laurel um, kind of the way he talks like kind of that sort of innocent um, you know English accent um, and he does say ridiculous things so, so some of my favorites are um, like the wordplay like um, there's an episode where they burn a uh, dictionary and uh, the first ever dictionary that was written and um, basically they have to write a new one and uh, Blackadder asks what starts with AB and Baldrick says what about honey? Honey starts with AB <laughs> and uh, there's another time where they were writing C, um, C like the letter C uh, and he he said his definition for that was big blue wobbly thing that mermaids live in <laughs> and uh, there was another one where they were in the World War Two um, series where they were playing I Spy, and Blackadder said, uh, "I spy with my little eye something beginning with T," and Baldrick said, "Breakfast. My breakfast always starts with T," and Blackadder says, "I meant it starts with the letter T. No, it doesn't start with letter. The postman doesn't come till lunchtime." <laughs> yeah, I love that, and I uh, also. Uh, Another thing I love is like when the king or the queen is like extremely childish like like in uh, the second series it's um, Queen Elizabeth the first who's the queen and she's just always acting really childish and <clears throat> she's basically like a whiny little girl who has lots of power and the same with uh, with uh, the third series where it's Prince George who um, basically is like yeah, basically like a kid but with lots of power um, so yeah I'd recommend skipping the first series it's it's just weird watching it hey it's not even all that funny I mean yeah he's just this really awkward character like he's more of a Mr Bean character and I think he did that sort of character a lot better with Mr Bean um, than Blackadder like the the first series it just his character is just really awkward you know, just pulling the faces all the time but through when it gets towards the end of the first series he's still nothing like the Blackadder we come to know but his character does honestly become a lot less awkward to watch um, so yeah definitely do check start with the second series and work from there and uh, yeah it's just brilliant so yeah check it out and bye